for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff the Mad Cheese, as always. Got another update video for you guys today. If you guys don't know, this is my weekly update video that I do, whether it's a player ratings update, a title update. That's typically both of them come out on Thursday. Uh, that's what this video is. So if you guys like these type of videos, as always, you want to see more, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button and let me know in the comments section. Other than that, let's go and get right into it. Now, this particular video is just a player ratings update. They do that every single week. Uh, there has not been a... Uh, the previous week, I think, we had a pretty massive uh you know title update i'll have a link in the description for that if you guys missed that they changed a lot of x factors and superstar abilities and we actually had a small update a couple days ago uh which turned out to be a huge update it was an update they weren't even supposed to really announce but became such a big issue because it was like knocking people out of the leaves or keeping people out of their leagues i think it had some huge issue with the cloud server uh which you know it's just something they've been trying to patch franchise mode uh pretty much this entire year behind the scenes and it really uh blew up in their face a couple days ago so so I made a video about that as well. I have links in the description for all that, but all that, that issue should be solved by now. Other than that, let's go and let's get right into the player ratings that changed. And like I said, this is a big player ratings change update based off of the fact that they changed they changed so many players they even changed players that are injured for whatever reason i don't know now i'll start off with the with this uh play ratings with the players going up like i typically do and i'm also going to go by starting off with uh jalen hurts which is also something that i typically do um who is now got to be the mvp front runner no matter who you are even vegas has him as the mvp front runner i know a lot of people are debating back and forth is it him is it patrick mahomes yada 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 i'm not really going to go into that too much i mean i am an eagles fan and I try to clarify that that one of the reasons that I constantly start off with him is because I feel like based on the fact that he is the MVP front runner he should be a lot higher rated than he is so he did get another plus one point rating uh, after his last performance against the Giants where the team essentially just blew out the Giants I can't say that his performance stood out uh, Miles Sanders had an amazing game too a lot of Eagles players had an amazing game and there's gonna be a lot of players on this list that got updated uh, you know got player ratings going up because of it so Jalen Hurts did go up a point Tua Tungavailoa went down a point which was one of my issues in a previous video uh, where essentially I said what well, he went up like four points in, in a week which I haven't seen anybody do anybody go up that much uh, so that was something where I made a big stink about that so Jalen Hurts finally surpasses Tua he's an 85 and Tua is an 84 and I think that's about right Tua hasn't really been playing well the last couple weeks so now that I've gone over those two quarterbacks I'm going to go over some of the larger star name players uh, starting with the highest rated player that got update and that's Christian McCaffrey now Christian McCaffrey played last night as well against the uh, Seattle Seahawks had a very good game he got a plus one I don't think it had anything to do with that so it wouldn't surprise me if he got a plus one again next week. This is based off of his performance last week. So he got a plus one. He's up to a 96. Obviously one of the best running backs in the league right now. But the best running back in the league right now is Josh Jacobs, who's right behind him. And he got only a plus one as well. If you look at like the yardage totals for the league, he is like far and away running away with the rushing title right now. He has 1,400 yards in a contract year, which is like good for him because he's probably going to get a huge contract from somebody uh, but he's got 1400 yards he's over 200 yards more than the closest guy with less carries by the way in Derrick Henry so that's the guy you know he should have at the very least gotten a X factor or a superstar ability or something in the last title update which he did not get uh, somebody far behind him in Saquon Barkley though did uh, who has you know almost three over 300 yards less so that was a bit of a travesty but he gets a plus one I'm sure you know Raiders fans will be appeased by that he's up to 94 overall that's very high for a guy that I think started the year probably in the mid 80s, um, if I had to guess. Max Crosby, also in the Raiders, got a plus one. He's in, you know among the league leaders in sacks. He was an absolute nightmare. I forget what game I watched him in, but he was he was a game wrecker. I think it was in the uh, the game where Baker Mayfield came back and beat him, but it wasn't necessarily on Max Crosby. He had a great game, so he's a plus one up to a 94. Jason Kelsey, let's just go through all the Eagles here. Let's get them out of the way. Jason Kelsey got a plus one. He's up to a 93. Guy's been uh, you know he's a Hall of Fame caliber player. I guess I guess it just took whatever he did last game to get that plus one to move 
them up a little bit. I really don't know. Uh, but going over all the Eagles players, this is this is one of the more ridiculous trends that I noticed, by the way. I did mention Miles Sanders had a great game. He got a plus one. He was up to an 88. Hassan Reddick got his 10th sack of the year. He's, he's a plus one now. He's up to an 87. He was, I think last week he got a plus two. Like, he, he hasn't, within the last two weeks, he's got three plus points added to his ratings. And he's been having a great year all year. So I don't know why they haven't noticed him on the defensive side of the ball. But uh, to, to, to really drive the point home of how some of these ratings are a little bit kind of, you know, I don't understand how they they do these ratings, how they change these ratings. Dallas Goddard is on here, who hasn't played in weeks. He's been injured. He's been on IR. He got a plus one to an A on overall. Now, I agree that he's a, he's a better player than his rating. He's just one of the best tight ends in the league. I have no doubt, no problem with that. But it's kind of strange to see him get a rating boost out of nowhere when a lot of times you think that these are based off of week-to-week performances when in reality he hasn't played at all. So I don't understand where that comes from. Another player who's on injured reserve and hasn't been playing who also probably deserves a ratings boost is Rashawn Gary, the outside linebacker, pass rusher, defensive end, edge rusher, whatever you want to call him from the Green Bay Packers. He got a plus one up to an 89 well he's been out i think he's out for the entire year so some strange stuff going on there that's why i said when this is this is a big patch even injured players are getting their ratings changed based off the fact that i guess ea just wants to get the ratings where they belong and they're not necessarily going to wait for week-to-week performances i guess so that's kind of interesting uh going back to the top players minka fitzpatrick gets a plus one he's up to a 92 one of the best safeties in the league i think that's got to be one of the highest ratings in the league by now at a 92 quinn williams who for a while, I mean, I think he leads the league in sacks with defensive tackles at this point. He got a plus one. He's up to a 92. He's a guy that probably should have got an X Factor or a superstar ability as well. I had some people in my comment section saying that, and I fully agree. He might be the best defensive tackle in the league right now. Uh, like I said, defensive player of the year caliber season he was having. Uh, maybe he still is. I'm not really sure. But I do know he is one of the league leaders in sacks for defensive tackles. And he's a, a, a very disruptive defender. Jamar Chase, plus one up to a 91 overall. Um, you know, he was injured for a while. I'm sure he, I know he came back and had a big game against the Chiefs. Next up, we got Justin Herbert, who I think went down recently. He's back up one point to an 89. I think he was down an 88. Uh, I guess beating, uh, I forget who they, who they beat. They beat the um, the Dolphins. So I guess beating the Dolphins is enough to get him a point boost back up to an 89. Patrick Sertain, despite the, the Broncos having a horrible year, he is rising fast. He's up to an 89 overall with a plus one. Uh, and then Sauce Gardner, speaking of really good corners, Sauce Gardner is a plus one to an 87. Uh, Tony Pollard, plus one to an 87 overall. That, I'd, I can't really disagree with that. He's definitely a, a really good player. Um, you know, definitely uh, definitely deserving. He's been up like eight points in the year as well. Uh, going down, now this is an interesting pile here, which, you know, I, I never really, I, I always agree more with the going up than going down. Maybe I'm just a positive person in nature. But Derrick Henry going down a point to a 95 overall doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Just because he's not leading the league, he is second in the league in a lot of major categories in rushing. So why would he be going down? I don't understand. I mean, I know maybe he hasn't had a good week the last two weeks or something like that. I know he didn't have a good week when he played the Eagles. But still, that's not necessarily warranted. Fred Warner going down a point to a 95 overall. Fred Warner is probably the best linebacker in the game right now. Why is he going down a point? I don't understand that. Dalvin Cook going down a point. He is sixth in the league in rushing right now, only behind, um, you know, he's, he's the first running back not in the 1,000-yard category, and he'll probably make, break that category uh, next game, whoever they play. So don't understand why he's going down. Josh Allen, um, I know he throws a lot of bad picks, but he's going down. He, he peaked at like a 95, I think, and he's going down since. So he's down two points now since then to a 93. I can't say. I mean, he's definitely a top five MVP candidate still, and I think Buffalo is the number one team in the AFC right now as far as seeding. So why is he going down? Don't really understand that. Marlon Humphrey going down. Maybe he gave him a touchdown or something. I mean, Marlon Humphrey... Um, you know, a lot of these guys I just don't understand. That's a negative one point. Then you got Dexter Lawrence, the second, who, I mean, I guess the Eagles ran all over him, so maybe that's why. But he went up plus two just last week. Why is he going down minus one now? So he's down to 91. He said not a lot of these just don't make sense to me. Levante David, minus one to 91. Can't say I, I don't know. The, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers defense is playing really good. I watched the last game against the, the Niners. I thought he did okay. I don't know. It's, it's, it's just tough to say. Some of these dead going downs just don't make sense to me. Unless a guy, you know, fumbled or jumped, dropped a bunch of passes. I don't really understand wh- where some of the going downs come from. Amari Cooper going down a point. Also, I think he's in the top 10 in the league in, in receiving uh, receiving yards. Don't understand that. Denzel Ward going down a point to a 90 as well. Uh, Tom Brady going down another point to a 90. Tom Brady, now there's a guy. Uh, as much Like, he's having a Russell Wilson type year as far as his trajectory going down. Uh, and he's still just getting by on name only. 
Because if he was down where he belonged, he would probably be in the low 80s at this point. Maybe like 81, 82. I know he's Tom Brady, and I think that's the only reason he hasn't gone down more. But that offense is terrible. That offense, and it's his fault. You know what I mean? Their receivers are still very good there. The running backs are still very good there. The offensive line is still pretty good there. Tom Brady is the reason that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers offense is terrible. As, as hard as that is to uh, agree with, to understand, he is the reason. So they're 90, he's a 90 overall, but he really should be like an 80 overall at this point. Uh, Dak Prescott, 88 overall. He's going. I think he just went up last week. They already took that point away. Uh, Khalil Mack gets a negative one. He's down at 88 overall. Can't say I've heard too much from him in uh, San Diego, but you know that's San Diego. So who really hears about that team? T.J. Hawkinson, negative one to an 88 overall. Xavier Howard, negative one to an 88 overall. Uh, Austin Eckler, negative one to an 87. Don't really understand that. That guy's one of the biggest, best producing running backs in the league right now, as far as if you combine catching and running anyway. And then Wyatt Teller ends this list at negative one for an 87 overall. Uh, let me know what you guys think as far as some of the ups and downs. I really only majorly uh, disagree. Like I said, my biggest, you know, is, is the same way that I always think Jalen Hurts should be a lot higher. I'm starting to feel that way about Tom Brady. He should be much lower. Because he is is the main issue with why Tampa Bay is not doing better. And I think he gets by because they're actually still in playoff contention. And his name is Tom Brady. Those are the only two reasons I could figure he's not like an 82. Because like Russell Wilson's like a 70-something now. And that makes sense because they're both having just horrible years. That just makes you think that they're just both completely done. So, like I said, if you guys want to see more of this, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Make sure to be a subscriber. Other than that, thanks for watching. Man, my shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.